All right, welcome to the Craft Beer Connoisseurs. I'm Tyler. Uh, I'm Brett. And I'm Chris. And, uh, well, yeah, uh, I don't even know why we're doing this, because there is no producer, and, uh, So this yeah. is the Craft Beer Connoisseurs... Special. 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 This, this means that I can just swear the whole time, right? Cuss at will. Oh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't. You know what? It'd be funny if we had a producer, Will. Cuss at Will. Yeah. <laughs> we well, don't you know what? That. When we get Will, we'll cuss at him. Have uh, we had Will before? Uh, we probably have. There might have been a Will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. We do have a couple of friends named Will. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. wondering if we had them earlier on. Um, the thing with this is we do need to do a Crap Beer Connoisseurs After Dark episode. I think we just need to do one. Yeah, let's do it. Get absolutely tanked. And just see what happens on the podcast. If you guys want to DM us, let us know. Uh, hashtag craft beer concert. We did after say dark. that uh, when you move to your new location, that you are going to start videoing things. That's really the first one you should video. Ooh, I don't think we should do that one on video. We got to <laughs> see where this podcast goes. Or you could just go back to season three and listen to Parents, Paris Drinks Fest. That's true. That's oh, true. yeah. That was <laughs> the thing with it, which is coming up too. Uh, it wasn't dark. It was. <laughs> it was dark it, at the end. It did get dark at the end. Um, yeah, we we didn't. We did talk about predictions for for this year, and we didn't talk about potentially doing some uh, recordings here, uh, video wise. I think it's something we could definitely do, but we'd have to, you know, reconfigure a little bit and uh, figure that out. And have, You'd have to get out of your pajamas and have a producer. We'd have to have an active <laughs> producer and leave my pajamas alone, sir. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't realize we're out here just attacking me like I mean, that. At the end of the day, this is how he can wear whatever he wants and just be happy he's wearing. Something that, well, that's true. That I didn't true. have to, yeah. but I think again, yeah, you know what crap beer is after dark. He's probably not gonna be wearing much <laughs> <laughs> again. That's hashtag craft beer connoisseurs after dark. Just DM us, let us know. We'll count them up. And if you get over, let's say 27, uh, we'll go, <laughs> we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do it. 27 is the mark for a group. Now, craft now beer 27 sounds similar to the last main episode we did so is there some sort of connection here between uh the perth episode i and think the connection this? was that uh, you mentioned that <laughs> that was the connection this guy's good this guy gets it yeah, yeah. this guy gets it this, this guy, guy listens a segue yeah ah yeah. yes yeah. 27 cans into 27 would be the number we would need to go craft beer connoisseurs after dark. But yes, there is a connection, and the connection is much more than me in my pajamas. Um, it is Perth Brewing. Um, now, with that being said, we discussed how they have gluten-reduced beers, i.e. Um, pretty well everything, with that enzyme that they use. Mm -hmm. What we are going to do is we're going to have something that's a little bit off the beaten path, but because this is February's, um, people have done dry January. Some people do dry February. Um, and we have done previously a producer special on dryness yes. uh, in the months previous. Um, I believe, what was that, season two? Yes. It was a while ago. The, the yeah. one thing I will mention about dry February is it's really going to suck this year because there's one extra day. That's true. Good job, Brett. Yeah. On the on the leap, leap year. year, yeah. Thank you. Which it's, also would be a really cool beer to make uh, if anybody wants to do that. It's a leap year, and you have to release it on the twenty ninth, and you have to bring it back as an anniversary beer every four years. Pat and Penny, don't take that copyright. I don't know how this works, but it's in a format of uh, recordings. So. I thought it was PDF. Anyway, <laughs> sounds legal. Doesn't that sound like a cool idea, though? That, yeah. that would be a cool do a idea. Leap year anniversary I'm beer? sure there's going to be some brewery in Ontario or maybe like another province, country, etc. That might have a beer release on February 29th. I don't think we can coordinate the uh, the collab on that one to get it out. But if somebody's got something brewing, yes. <laughs> uh, well, you probably us, have to by now. Yeah, let us know. We'll we'll come in. We'll brew. And the also, next two February 29th is a Wednesday. Uh, um, might be tough to get there for release day. That is actually pretty sweet, though, because if you have a leap year and the 29th is on a Wednesday, I think you could have a really hoppy beer. Get it? It's because it's a leap year. You want to uh, hop there? You hop over. Um, yeah. 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 It's also like a hump day. Yeah. So you yeah. got like a whole lot of things you can work with this. It's going to be like a, probably a bunny on the label. It just makes sense. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, Hugh. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, what what do we got today? Yeah. Uh, Which is not the leap year day. It is not. Uh, we've got some non-alcoholic beverages uh, provided by Perth. Um, excited to look at these because we have seen some other uh, influencers, if you will. Again, we kind of put ourselves in that category and others have, have put us there too. Yeah. Um, have these beers before. 
Mm. And they've said that they're very, very good quality. Um, so we've got two here. Uh, yes, we do. They're already open. Um, let's start. And poured. Let's yeah. Let's start with uh, Chris. Why don't you introduce the first one? Uh, Brett, you can introduce the second one. Do you guys want to do it separately? Taste the beers first, or do you want to? I think uh, Chris introduces his. We'll have, we'll do that Drink one, that and then one? I'll introduce yeah. the second yeah. one. And that one. Uh, Roll with it. Love it. So the first one is uh, just called Play. All right, yeah. we'll do. Uh, so this one comes in at zero point one percent ABV. Cool. So uh, is is that actually non-alcoholic? Uh, well, I think you round down at that point. Okay, fair. Uh, so the description says, love the clean, crisp flavor of craft lager, but want to play all day? Then come play with us. Our non-alcoholic play lager doesn't get in the way of all the fun life has to offer while satisfying the beer lover in you. And it's only 45 calories. Oh, yes. Watching the old waistline, too. I was going to say, you, <laughs> you on a diet here as well? Yes. Is that a news? And I mean... It's good if you have the New Year's yep. resolution. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. You, you can, you know, as they say, kill two birds with one yeah. stone. Like there's the l- dry there's, feb yeah. and keep your New Year's and resolution. There's like less calories in this than like a ginger ale or like a, yeah. a Pepsi. Coke. Yeah. A Fresca. You leave Fresca out of this. <laughs> like, you know, so like, really, it's just it's just better for you to support local and, and have some of these non-alcoholic beers that are less calories, less sugars. I think actually, um, I don't know about uh, yours, uh, Chris. But I believe it should have all the nutrition facts on the it, side. It does. And yes. in, in one can, there is uh, two grams of sugar, which is only 2% of your daily value. Sugar! I like sugar. You like sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that from baseball? I don't know if that was before you or not. It used to be a big thing we used to say. Before the 90s? Oh, I know. Sugar! You before mix, the 90s? You don't mix JD with freaking Coke. That's true. Anyway. Hey, this, this, this is a crap beer kind of serious measure. You can say the word if you want to. Uh, no, my daughter might listen. Uh, uh, <laughs> she listens to more episodes than your wife, I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> Probably two facts. Anyway. So, shall we drink it? Yeah. I think so. Let's get into hey, it. Hey, guys, just be careful, all right? If we have to put the keys in the bowl, Take it you guys easy, have right? to stay, then it's fine. Thanks for not drinking and driving. Bryce. You got what? Like two I was going to say, Tony Fernandez says that right That's there, right? not Tony Fernandez. That's not Joe Carter. That's not Joe Carter either. Uh, who is that? Derek Bell? George Bell. That's not... No. no definitely not Derek Bell. You're going to have to take a look back. You're going to take Devin, your headset off. You're Devin take White? You, Devon White? Devon White, sorry? No. This is terrible. Stop hitting the mic there with your... Uh, oh, sorry about that. Your, yeah, your yeah, Chris, at least I'm guessing. All right, I'm going to drink this. Brett, you're going to take a walk and go find out who it is. I don't think... You, you should know when you see him. Mm. Not Lloyd Mosby, is it? No! Take a walk. Nope. Not walking. I'll figure it out afterwards. Because I need to drink this. There you go. Well, how do I put... You, you can definitely tell that it's not alcoholic. Um, it has just... It's kind of like missing something. You know what I mean? The alcohol? The alcohol? I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> but like, you can't necessarily taste alcohol, or maybe you can within the beer, but it's just kind of missing something. When I t- it, It's like, it has flavor, but it's lacking a little bit more. Do you feel like it maybe needs more um, sugar or more um, carbonation? Like, what, what, what's, what is it that's missing for you? Just kind of like, the full flavor you know when you drink a lager like we like we had in the last episode we got you know that sweetness we got a little bit of carbonation we got the the fuller body of the beer it's just kind of like really thin doesn't get a lot of the malty flavor that you're looking for um just lacking a little but again like probably expected right well yes because it's not alcoholic yeah uh tyler yourself yeah the flavor hits and stops Mm-hmm. Like it, it's a a very um, green light red light. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like drinking a a pop or something yeah. like that in that sense. Right? I I I kind of disagree with that. Um, well, that yeah. Now that I think about it, it kind of like. But yes, it's like it's it's it's, it's flavor in flavor out. As soon as you swallow, there's no gone. flavor. Yeah, yeah. It, there's nothing lingering. There's there's no development throughout the right. the flavor the sip. It's uh, what you get is what you get, and it's only um, it only stays as long as it's in your mouth. Yeah, Fair. no progression, nothing really 
standing out either because of that it's hard to pick up a flavor right yep um for myself i've as bad as it sounds i've probably had the most um indulgence in terms of non-alcoholic uh beers uh, mostly just to have my check-ins and on tap go up and then b <laughs> um i've also had to have a couple weeks off from uh drinking alcohol last year so i had to i tried to support local and get all the non-alcoholics and um it's almost like, um, as bad as it sounds, like a like a diet beer. Yeah, right. No, that's because it almost way. seems yeah. like there's a little bit of an aspartame kind of like taste, if you will. Right. Uh, yeah, there's, bit of, so, there's something for right? sure. Something artificial. There's something, but nothing. Yeah. It's a very it's a very strange thing for me. Right? It, yeah, it yeah. literally just says like water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. I think it's obviously with the um, non alcoholics. It doesn't um, sit for as long, right? It's almost like a seltzer, right? So when you make a yeah. seltzer, Ki- it, kind of, it's, yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. T- it only takes three days to have its full product in order to be able to keg it, right? Keg it. So the reason why a lot of the breweries now, I, in my opinion at least, are moving towards the lighter stuff slash non-alcoholics is because it's a product that they can turn around a lot quicker. Yeah. Versus the lo- the lager that we had last week, um, it was a beer that's been sitting there for you know six, eight weeks. Yeah. Right? Um, so yeah, that's just my 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 five cents because no, two yeah. cents doesn't make any sense anymore. Yeah, no, I yeah, I it it does make sense to me, if you will. All right, oh, oh, oh. and um, oh, as we oh. Uh, move on, oh yes, um, sorry, this is the one thing that happens is that when we don't have a producer, we have to do more stuff. So Tyler had to go and do stuff. Yes. And Tyler, what stuff did you do? No, I just just grab just grabbing the can right now, taking a look at her. Just wanted to, I mean, we touched about it. It saying play and whatnot. There's a bunch of different things on here. Yeah, kind of uh, some catchphrases. Yeah, you know, laugh, hike, action, paddle, etc., etc., etc. So kind of like a, a word art. Um, but no, I, I just wanted to kind of take a look at this. Um, yeah, interesting. Yep. Nice, nice, nice can, obviously. They they did a really good job with the can art um, last week yes. as well, right? Yes. So uh, full wrap, like they they put the same you time. Get, you don't get much full wrapping. No, they, they the don't time, play. They don't they don't they don't play with that. But they put the same time and dedication into into this can that they did with uh, the other ones, right? So, and, and I think we should mention that Perth has, I think when I was looking at Untapped, it was like probably five or six different non-alcoholic beers. So. It's not like they're just putting these one-off non-alcoholics just to get something out there. Like, whole line of it. Yeah, they're actually putting some thought into the non-alcoholic industry and um, getting those people who, you know, whether they're doing dry Feb, whether they're doing dry January, whether they just don't drink alcohol in general, maybe they're pregnant, um, maybe they had surgery, uh, and they want to have uh, a non-alcoholic and still have that beer flavor. Then they're they're catering to those people too. So uh, speaking of uh, the non-alcoholic lines, if you will, uh, we do obviously said that we had a second one. Um, so this one is the IPA. Mm. Okay. Um, it's an IPA with no alcohol. <laughs> um, Thanks. Just, yeah, um, coming in at seventy-six calories. Okay, seventy-six calories. A bit more than yeah. the uh, lager. Yeah, fourteen fourteen uh, uh, grams of carb, two two grams of sugar. Um, six percent iron though, which is good. You, you really need that in your day. Yeah, get some iron. Um, so just any to, vitamins or? Um, actually, no. 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 Okay, that's um, okay. So if you're looking for a non-alcoholic IPA that won't put a hitch in your giddy up, um, the label of the beer is a um, um, a person riding a horse. Uh, Chris said earlier offline that's like, oh, you don't got a stable horse ride a cowboy. Uh, actually, the cowboy is riding the horse. Um, so hop in the saddle, our non-alcoholic IPA. You'll be, ha- we'll have you hollering, yippee yay, kaye. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> <laughs> and I rest my case. So uh, we should probably wet our thistle with this one too, shouldn't we? Yeah. This what? one smells like a uh, kind of like a West Coast IPA. Yeah. Hmm. I I'm worried. I'm worried. Uh oh, but also, but about? also not the look of a West Coast IPA. It does it have? No, it's much, uh, much clearer. Yes. Yeah, that, and this is like I'm just I'm concerned. Would that you're gonna like it too much? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna become a non-alcoholic alcoholic. <laughs> no, but I also, just you know support right. 
No, no, I just I I'm worried because I don't like I, I hope I hope it's very IPA esque. Yeah, you know what I mean? for me what too. for what it is like after having the the play, um, good solid in out. I want this to kind of linger around. I want this to be more true. That's all. A little bit more flavor, I think. Okay. Yeah, hoping for more it. flavor and and to stick around. Well, what do we do normally do in this podcast? We drink. So we probably should maybe um, do that, perhaps, and, and see what what happens with it. I saw Chris take a look up to my right, which I have horses up here, and would have made a better Instagram photo than we took. And I saw him thinking this through, but he didn't say anything. But that was his thought process. <laughs> Chris, am I right? Not necessarily the photo, but I was like, oh, um, horses. <laughs> and then I thought about how I, I think I used to have a similar horse. Right. Uh, we, could, yeah. we could redo it. No, no, we, we but keep, we won't. No, no, we keep what we got. It's, no. It was play. It was yes. part of the part, part of the play more than the yes. uh, API. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what about? Um, I haven't had it yet. Oh yes, sorry. Well, let's, let's you talk about J- jump it. jump the gun here. Might have been our last duel. Um, yeah, let's see what I did there. What, what do you think now that you've had the full swallow there, uh, Tyler? Um, not as. As fast as the play, but still pretty pretty quick. Still fast, yeah. Yeah, um, but the flavor is there. Like it, 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 it is mm. is definitely there. It is like that that flavor that you do get for the short time does feel like an IPA. It's just it once it's gone, it's it's gone. Where you're thinking like, okay, well, if I am drinking an actual IPA, that's gonna stay there a little bit more. It's gonna I'm gonna get that taste more. It does. It does dissipate quite quite quickly. But yeah, I agree. The, the flavors are are, are there. Um, it'd be interesting to see. You know, having one of these on tap, right? Because I don't think I've ever actually had a non alcoholic IPA slash lager on tap. But uh, Tyler, you had your hand up, so I will pass it over <laughs> to you because I feel as though you might have something to say. The floor recognizes Tyler. Um, yeah, no, I I appreciate that. So one thing with this though. If I if I'm going off of exactly what Chris was just saying, um, the difference between this and a real IPA is a real IPA has the alcohol. So although, yes. although this is thin, if a real IPA with alcohol was thin, you'd go back and you drink and you drink and you drink and you'd almost become that crushable territory where you have to be careful about how much you drink. With this one here, because it is thin. There is no consequence of it, really. Just crush all day. Right, you know what I mean, though? Yeah. It's like there's really nothing saying that you couldn't slam a, a, a can of this to meet the same kind of consistent flavor mm-hmm. yeah. of another IPA with little to no consequence. Besides baby bladder syndrome. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a lot of liquid. You might have to pee every five minutes. But you, you, <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Is like That's the same thing with really play. I'm just kind of like... Going through in my head, I'm like, you know what though, but like there is no consequence. So even though it's a fast kind of flavor profile, there's nothing saying I can't pick up my can again and have another sip and then have another sip. And then have another can. Right. And have another six pack. Actually you'd have twenty seven of them. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. We talked about Florence last episode, main episode. Yeah. I might just get a bunch of these, sit out in front of my um uh, on my my driveway and just like slam 24 of these and throw the cans as if I've just been absolutely tanked <laughs> just to set the tone for flow halfway, flow. Halfway halfway through Gerald's come out to join you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like Or you could bring some over to Florence as a No, that's true. That, that's that true. does not that doesn't work. No. It doesn't work. No. no. It might. Yeah. It might if, work for her. They say, "Hey, thank you for holding the beers and thank you for Quizzing me on my package that was delivered <laughs> uh, for me to your home. Um, I, I just like I've heard of the health problems. Like it's, it might be tougher to like you know he's got two knee surgeries and a, like eight strokes just to get aside. It that's might be true. difficult. It's true. All I'm saying is there is as I go back and I'm I'm thinking about it a little bit more in depth. I'm like there really is no like take the can and drink drink the can. Two sip that thing. Who cares? Drink it like water. I don't care. If that's what it means that like you're getting that flavor profile that you want, 
Sure. And it's not like the flavor's not there. It, it's it's there. It's just yeah. the consistency of it because it, it finishes so fast. Um, you just uh, talking about that just brought me back to a point where like, why the heck didn't I have like a shotgun joke for the last two logger last episode? Because that would have made a lot of sense. <laughs> um, obviously, we did not. So there there is that. But um, yeah, no, I think actually, I actually don't mind the, the out of the non-alcoholic beers I've had. Um, this would be probably at the top of my list. I was going to say, I like, the, so I haven't had a lot of non alcoholic lagers uh, or non alcoholic beers, uh, but I will say that I, I think I prefer this IPA over the play, the I, lager. I, I agree with that too. So I do definitely agree. Uh, more yay, uh, less play. Yes. And that there you go. is all we have to say. Um, so that's all for today's producer special. Thank you again for listening. Keep on listening every other Thursday as the Craft Beer Connoisseurs release a new episode and on our off Thursdays for these unique producer specials. And maybe next time we'll have a producer with us. Um, maybe. Maybe. So remember to drink responsibly. Uh, don't drink drive. Or if you're going to drive, have 27 IPA. <laughs> right? Might have to pee on the way home, but still, <laughs> yeah. you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, your only problem is that baby bladder syndrome. Yep. All right. Um, So from all of us, Song's producer, I'm Tyler. I'm Brett. And I'm Chris. And together, we're the Craft Beer Connoisseurs.